Oh, we're going to okay. <laughs> So let's get into it right here. I'm just showing you guys how we started with her pixie. I just molded her down and um, put her bald cap on. I'll do a better tutorial on that later because this just didn't, I didn't have the materials I needed to make it look absolutely melted. But nonetheless, um, I'm just taking some alcohol and cleaning her scalp. I put it on a clean towel and you always want to use alcohol to clean the scalp before you apply any glue. Um, just to make sure that her oils won't mix with the glue and stuff like that. Right here you see the bold hold, um, bold hold skin prep and I follow that on the skin after the alcohol again just to prep the skin for the glue and doing those steps you need both of those steps to make sure that the glue adheres to the skin properly. I am using the bold hold active and right here what you're going to see me doing is just making sure that her lace is falling. Um, where we need it to fall that is not too far down on her forehead and then I'm also kind of eyeballing to see where I need to place the glue. A beginner's tip um, if you're not that good at eyeballing where the lace is going to sit you can also take a flesh tone um, eye, eyeshadow pencil Lord, I can't talk today a flesh tone pencil meaning like the color of their skin but just a little bit lighter a little bit darker and you can make markings where the end of the lace is so you'll have a guide as to where you want to place your glue so here you'll see me um, just putting the dots of the bold hope active and you do not need a lot of this product you don't need a lot of this product because you want each layer to be really really thin so that the lace can adhere and look great if the coats are too thick you won't get that smooth seamless look it'll look thick and and cakey and it just won't look great so you want to make sure that your app that your coats of the glue that you're applying are really really thin so i do the dots and i kind of i started kind of smoothing them out with the bottle i don't know why i did that because that was a disaster <laughs> And then I just took the metal end of my rat tail comb and I'm going in and I'm smoothing out that um, glue so that it can be flat and um, seamless. I'm going to apply three coats, which is the norm for most people. Um, I think they say you can apply up to seven coats. I've never applied more than four. I do four for my really, really oily ladies. This is my first time using the active glue on her, so I just did three and we're going to um, see how that works for her. She has normal skin, so we're just going to see how that works. If my client is oily, I definitely use four coats and I really, really like this glue. Um, but like I said, since it's my first time using it on her, I'm just going to do three coats. So again, you'll see me here doing those dots and taking the end of my metal tail comb and smoothing it out. Again, you want really, really thin layers so that the glue can dry properly and that it does not look cakey underneath the lace because you will be able to see it and it won't look amazing. You'll see me here just applying a little bit more around where that cap kind of lifted. I'm going to use the glue to kind of melt, um, melt that cap into her skin to give it a seamless look as seamless as we can and i am going to do a bald cap method um the best way to do it um this was late we were um we're both hairstylists this is late this is a saturday after work and we were just in there trying to get our lives and both be cute <laughs> and record this video for you guys so um i definitely could have done the cap better but it's gonna turn out cute anyway honey because we worked it right on out and yeah so I'm just applying my second coat here and yet again, um, I just took tiny dots and I'm gonna take my uh, metal tail comb again and smooth it out. And you can also see that it did not take that layer long to dry at all. And you'll know it's dry because it'll be clear. Like not off white, not, no, it'll be completely clear and that's how you know it is dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this process because I feel like this part is repetitive.
All right, I'm showing you guys here that the glue is completely dry because it is clear. All three coats are dry and you are ready to melt that lace, honey. So I'm just going to start by, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to start by pulling the middle down. I pull that part down first because if the middle is situated correctly, then both sides should lay down flat and correct as well. But I always start in the middle. And you just want to go ahead and sit the lace on the glue and I'm going to use my comb to help me to press the lace into her skin and uh, I'm not going to do a whole whole lot of hard pressing just yet I want to make sure that everything is lined up before I go in and really really melt it in but as you can see I take the teeth of my comb and just press the lace into the glue Now the sideburns is the only area that I will go ahead and pull some hair down um, because I do want that side, those sides burn areas to lay flat kind of, kind of almost permanently. But um, around her hairline, like she doesn't like baby hair. So I definitely don't want um, the hairs to stick to the lace and look all hard and crunchy. Um, if I lay baby hair, I do it afterwards. I do not lay my baby hair in the glue. Um, the only... The only area that I do go ahead and lay into the glue is the side areas by the ear. That, that seems to work best for me and it seems to kind of keep that hair down um, because typically the ear areas start to lift first because you know that's where you want when you wash your face and all of that kind of stuff that's where you get a lot of the oil build up and stuff like that so that typically lifts first so if that hair is flat right there it just helps it to kind of lay flush against the skin if it does start to lift. So I do like to go ahead and lay that area down and press it into the glue really good. Outside of that, you'll see me just taking my comb and comb all the hair back um, so that it doesn't, um, so that no baby hairs and no little excess short hairs get caught into the lace and lay and look crunchy and ugly. And um, yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't, so that it doesn't lay in a way we don't want it to. I can't talk this morning, y'all. Now I'm going to take the blow dryer and um, just go ahead and um, on the cool setting, which is more so warm, I'm going to go ahead and get the lace pretty good and dry. And this only takes about a couple minutes um, to get it dry for the next step. And I'm just showing you guys we're looking good already. Look at her face. She's feeling it. Look at her, look at her. That's how your clients will look when you when you get to melting that lace right, honey. So, um, once we get it good and, I'm not gonna say dry, dry, but dry enough for the next step. We're gonna take um, the Nairobi wrap foam and I'm gonna go ahead and set the hairline and uh, put her under the dryer. So you'll see me in a minute go over to cut the dryer on. I don't know what song was on but honey I felt it <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead here and just set her hairline like I said she doesn't like baby hairs but if I was gonna do them this is the time that I would do it I would go ahead with my Nairobi wrap foam and lay my baby hairs down you don't want to use too too much um, this wrap foam does not make the lace lift um, because I'm gonna use that foam is also why I go ahead and use the dryer to go ahead and kind of get the lace to start drying so that when I do this step, it doesn't interfere with the glue. And I've never had any issues, you guys. I know that this works. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and slick her edges back and use some neck strips to tie it down flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and sit her under the dryer for at least 30 minutes to go ahead and let that hairline sit. And it's also going to help that lace, give you that melted um, effect of the lace melting into the skin. And now we are going to do the final reveal. So after I did the neck strips, y'all, sidebar, after I did the neck strips on the last clip is when she decided to tell me she wanted the top and a ponytail. So I went ahead and put her top in a ponytail before I put it under the dryer. And as you can see, she likes her hair. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I do to apply any lace frontal unit. Um, this particular unit is from my hair collection. The link will be down below. 
um you can also leave a comment if you're interested but nonetheless this is how you this is how i apply my lace front wigs and get that flawless melted look um she did the color um and it looks great and she's ready for spring so you guys let me know how you like it and let me know if this tutorial was helpful let me know what areas you struggle in um, with applying lace fronts and I would do my best to help you guys out and here we go clowning <laughs> Y'all have a good day and let me know how you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like comment subscribe share all that good stuff. Bye y'all